Hey everyone, this is Christy and today's tutorial I will show you how to add transitions between two videos in Adobe Premiere. So I have a blank Premiere project here and I'm going to just drag two videos into it on the timeline from my hard drive. So I have these two videos here and I'm just going to create a new sequence. I'm just going to create a new sequence from the first clip and then I'm going to just drag the second clip after it. So how do I create a transition between these two clips when the when the one finishes I want the other one to start and not to start suddenly like it does here. So I want to create a transition between these. So what you need to use is to uh, open the effects panel. If you don't have it here I have it on the right side of my screen. Depending on layout you may have it turned off so in, in that case you just go to the window menu and select effects and you have this one is split in between different types of effects and transitions so what we want is video transitions we will just open this group here and you have so many uh, here so I'm just going to apply a simple dissolve transition so as you can see here dissolve the folder dissolve contains a lot of transitions among which is cross dissolve which means the the first video will fade out into the second one. So all I have to do is I'm just going to press my Alt key and zoom in here where the two video clips meet. And this is my cursor here so you can see the videos suddenly go in from one to another. So I want to add a smooth transition between these two clips. So what I do is I just drag this uh, effect here from cross dissolve. I will just drag it in between them. You will see that before I uh, release my mouse cursor it shows that the transition is going to span both clips uh, the end and the beginning of the next clip so if I release this it's going to apply this effect to the place where these videos join now there is a warning message here you may get because it's saying insufficient media this transition will contain repeated frames the reason for that is that the first clip the clips that the clip that ends ends right here so in order for this transition to perform it still needs to have a few more frames that will overlap the next video but because my clip ends here it's going to just repeat the last frame so in order to make up that time it takes for the transition to to perform it will just take the last frame and keep repeating it until it completely fades out into the new clip the way to avoid this if you want to if you don't want repeated frames is to just remove this transition here and put the videos uh, on top of each other. I'll just show you in a minute now. So as you can see here, if I play this video, if you notice, the, the video that ends actually is static. There's no change on it. So that's what it means by repeating frames. It's just repeating the last few frames or the last frame on the video. So to avoid that, I'm just going to click on the transition itself and I'm going to delete the transition. And one thing you can do is the first thing um, you could do is if you don't really care about the uh, content of the video here at the end, uh, you could actually just uh, make the video a bit shorter by using the selection tool there and pulling this video next to it again. That will make the video shorter and then you drag the transition on top of them and it's not complaining about repeated frames anymore because there are enough frames that I've just hidden and they can make part of the uh, next the, the space that it takes for, to do the transition. Another technique is to uh, just let me undo here. So I still have the two videos, but what I can do is I can actually move the second video onto a different um, layer on a on a different uh, video stream and just move it inside. Of the other one just make sure if you want to keep your audio you can move you need to move your audio away because it will overlap so what I'm doing here I'm overlapping the videos um, and at the moment of course because the second video is on the on a superior uh, timeline there it's just gonna appear suddenly on top of it but now I can take this cross dissolve transition and apply it first of all to the new video and also apply it to the previous video. So you can see the transition actually starts 
uh, earlier than the two video clips made. So I can actually pull in the second video and make sure that I move this transition to where the video starts and then the uh, 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 end of the transition move it to where the video ends. So now the transition, the cross dissolve, takes the same amount of time but the videos smoothly fade into the other ones so this is how you do it without repeated frames and also having the smooth transition between the videos obviously it, you know if you want to remove your audio and so on you can do that but um, this was just a video transition uh, tutorial so i hope uh, you've learned of course you don't have to just use dissolve cross dissolve you can use other transitions here you can play with and they all apply the same way you just drag it from the effects panel onto the videos you want to overlap and use the transitions on so i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this for uh, the future videos when i publish new quick wins new simple tutorials to teach you anything about graphics video editing and anything else in between thanks for watching